What's good, YouGitube? Alex here, aka Inch95, bringing you guys a video for Deck of the Month. I am so sorry this video is so late. I had a couple other decks um, ready to be filmed, but it's last minute. I just got home. It is literally the 31st of January, um, 7.23 p.m. my time. Got home, had a really long day, and I'm, I have to ice my leg right now. All bad. Fucking literally, like, had the worst ankle roll ever, <laughs> so bear with me. I'm sorry. I'm just so inconvenient like I'm trying to film at the same time keep the little bag on and everything but in any case um, I'm sorry I have to do this but people were requesting believe it or not um, fire um, or fire fist or whatever as well as water the most post Cosmo blazer um, I am not leaking my deck list simply because um, I have a couple friends probably taking it to Miami so I'm showing you guys my previous version um, my current version has a couple tech cards as well as a, a couple different card choices and the side deck is completely different. I, 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 I might not even show the side deck if this video is long enough. Um, but in any case, I'm just going to show you guys the deck what I feel should at least be something that people should look into. Um, the deck count should probably not exceed. I think you can get away with like between 42 to 45 cards with this deck. Like Generally, I have not had an issue. Um, bad draws are just part of the game occasionally, and that's just it's, it's my luck occasionally. But I don't really care. I can play out of it a lot of the time. So I'm just going to hop right into it. Um, you're in Triple Undyne. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to limit a lot of the explaining. Um, triple Undyne, Double Controller. You have a ton of engines with this deck. Triple Diva. I think Triple Diva is the way to go. It's a power card. Like, I don't care what deck you're running. I don't know why people are running two. Like, you need three. Like, this card is just a cheap out to anything. Like, think of it. Like, even against Macro Rabbit, it's a cheap out that forces out, like, Lagias, Dolkas, etc., 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 followed up with, like, a Dark Hole or something along those lines where you can at least try to make a comeback. Um, against a lot of decks, it's an instant cataster. Um, it baits out a lot of stuff if they let it resolve. If you want to make like a librarian or go marksman push, um, if you can resolve a megalo and a diva, that's game because you go diva marksman. Drop if you can drop a megalo or whatever. Tribute the diva. Uh, megalo is 4800, marksman is 14, and then if he attacks directly and deals damage, you get a dragoons that's 3200 plus 40. That's exact 8000. So she's amazing. You do some weenie gachi plays. Um, for the Atlantean engine, we run Triple Dragoons. He's like the core, one of the core searchers of the deck. Um, three marksmen, just always popping. I, I'd never really like. Sometimes I do. I wish I, I wish I had three infantry, infantries at times, but um, you can get away with it. I mean, you run Avarice. You can recycle some of your stuff. I mean, in the future when Emerald becomes legal, I, m I might even like. I might just cut this to two because I'll be able to reuse them, and I can make Emerald with Dragoons and Pike. But uh, these guys are amazing. These guys. Oh, and by the way, one thing, these guys are always chain link one when you discard them for Megalo. Keep that in mind. If the summon resolves and Megalo effect triggers, these guys are always chain link one and two, or any combination of whatever you discard. Um, make sure they target um, first because when they activate, they trigger their mandatory, so they have to trigger and target, and then they can resolve afterwards. So keep that in mind. Um, don't let people cheat you, or don't try to cheat people with that. Um, for the Mermail portion of the engine, I run Double Pike, pretty standard. Uh, run Mermail. Abyss Gundy. Nobody's running this, but I'm going to explain this a little bit later after I finish the Mermail engine off. Um, Pike's just great surgery. He's like one of the best Sphere plays. He, he works great in conjunction with Sphere. Um, three Lindy's. Yes, I like threes. Like, I, I'm not going to dedicate this version to like a trap version. The 333 three, version is the best version by far. Um, three Megalos. Obvious pushes. He's ridiculous. I opted to one one lead. I'm not running Teus or Abysteus or whatever. I don't really like him because number one, People are overlooking the fact that Abysteus is not searchable. Um, I guess Mermaid Abysteus, I mean, you could do the sphere play with it, but that's bad. Um, and people are thinking this guy isn't that good. With three salvages in the deck, um, which I do run, and I highly recommend running, this lead is so good. He gives you that extra um, seven star if you need it. Um, you contribute your Mermails. If you resolve this and I'm winning Glaciate, you're more than likely going to win, like a lot of the time when that happens. And then on top of that... Um, you can trigger so many monsters effect. Like, there's so many times where I wish Megalo could discard three monsters, so I don't have to sit there and uh, hope to God that they don't have an answer. Or I could just clear their whole board. Um, and he's great, also in conjunction with Gundy, which I'll explain what she does in a minute, because she's a hidden, hidden gem, in my opinion, that no one's really using. Um, so he's great overall, and he's a beat stick, 2700 beat stick that Abysteus doesn't offer. Um, he gets rid of a lot of problem cards um, that, that are just big beat sticks for this deck that you might, you can't resolve, like, a, um, let's say, Big Eye or Gaios or Dark Hole, or Diva Cataster, or something along those lines. If you can't resolve that, this guy's a cheap out, because a lot of the times they want to get rid of him. Like, it's so hard for decks to get rid of him without devoting resources to him. And a lot of the time you can just sit on him on board. Um, 
one Mooling Glacier obvious and one Gore's obvious for that. He's the only hand trap I run. This deck doesn't need hand traps, in my opinion. You you really don't need it. Like sometimes, yeah, I wish I had Dragodia, but those games that I that I would have had Dragodia, I probably would have, like force you to play a different play style, and you probably would lose those games anyway, especially like if you really need it. Now going on to Gundy, I want to explain her. She um because a lot of people actually don't know what she is. So here, let me see if I can focus. Um, she's a three star water aqua type, fourteen hundred by eight hundred. If it's discarded to the graveyard, you can target one mermail in your monster in your graveyard, except itself or another Gundy. Special summon that target. You can only use the effect of mermail abyss Gundy once per turn. Basically, if you discard her, she is a monster reborn. I can't tell you how many cool plays and chain links I've done with her. Uh, let's say I have like double megalo in hand, or abyss abyss lead and Gundy. Right? I can go summon megalo, discarding these two as a cost. Right? Um, his summon resolves, he's chain link 3, she's chain link 2. Or let's say I had like something else, let's say I even had like discarded a marksman, or I had him in grave. I can bring him back, or I can bring back her. Or if I have um, the, the Lindy, or if I have like something else in my hand, like a Dragoons, or an Infantry, or a Marksman, I can get him, discard it to uh, add another one to my hand, or an Undyne. And it's, there's just so many pluses, like, she, she cre the fact that she offers that Monster Reborn play, and gives you the opportunity to create free OTKs out of nowhere where people aren't expecting them and they don't think you can have another cheap discard fodder is great. She's 1400, which she gets under bottomless if need be, um, which isn't really that problem for this, much of a problem for this deck in the first place. Um, she can exceed, you can exceed with her. She's just ridiculous. She's she's great with Pike. I really, really love her with Pike. Um, like you could go Sphere. Um, let's say they run over your, your Lindy or whatever. Get him out. Discard Gundy, add a level three like an Undyne or whatever. Um, activate her, get back the like the Lindy. It's just ridiculous. There's so many chains like you can build chain links you can build with her. Um, it's beyond me why people aren't running her. She is a hidden gem that uh, people should be running. I can't believe people never ran it at the beginning. I run the one allure. It's a little bit bipolar, but uh, I always have controllers in my hand because that's just me, and they're not that hard to get to your hand. So it's great. I mean, if worst case scenario, you could discard it for like Wing Blaster or Geki Break if you run that. Three salvage, I think it's a must. There's so many plays like this lead plays, uh, Pike plays. It's it's ridiculous. I never not want do not not want to have this card in my hand. Avarice, mind control broke. I don't know why people don't run that. Um, Reborn, dark hole, heavy, double space, and then another card I've been testing out for a while in the main. I've had it. I've had them inside before. Um, I dropped my one wing blast in the deck. Um, I had a one main wing blast and Regeki break. And I traded it for this card. I'm trying this out. I, I still like the Wing Blast um, a little bit better in theory, simply because I can. It's a little bit more react, uh, proactive in the sense that this is only during my turn. Wing Blast, if it's been sitting there, I can you know disrupt plays. Whereas this is more of a comeback card, like Dark Hole. And this deck generates so many pluses. It's not never a minus when you discard. Like it, it's just never going to be a minus. I mean, Undyne is an instant plus two. So the fact if you play this and you clear their board, that's going to be an even trade-off with this, and you still plus off that, so you're going to get more pluses. Like, if you kill three cards with this, off to starting a controller that you added, the Undyne was a plus two. You use this, which is a minus one in itself, but you kill something, and you kill another card, that's a plus one, and another plus one. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's a spell, so I really like Vortex. Um, I think it's a great theory card, and it's been working really great. Um, I've been playing a lot of weird hazy beast variants, like on the competitive level, believe it or not. I've seen a lot of players try to make that deck big, so cheap out to that. Cheap out to rabbit matchup, um, where sometimes the wing blast isn't as good. Um, so yeah, and then for the traps, I run triple sphere, must, and double trench roll. You don't really need any other traps. Um, right now I think it's sitting at 44, 45. I think 45, that's my favorite ratio, believe it or not, with this deck. Just because there's nothing else I really want to cut um, with the deck. Um, but I guess you could try the Wing Blast. I, I don't want to show you guys my current version, just because, like I said, people might be taking it to Miami. But, uh, here's Extra Deck. Extra Deck's kind of self-preference, but I'll show you guys a cool tech card at the end. Um, Armory Arm, Librarian. I think he's great. He's actually great for baiting, it, baiting out stuff. I really do like him. I never want to do the Diva, um, Diva, Diva, or Diva Infantry, Diva Marksman play. I never really want to do that, just to go Librarian, Armory Arm. That's a waste. I don't know why people waste that play, in my opinion. I've not once have I ever needed to make that play or wanted to do it. It's such a suboptimal play. It's it's ridiculous. But this guy is 2400, so it, that's that's enough to justify running him. Cataster, um, you obviously run him, but I, you do need the librarian. I don't I, I don't really want to run two catasters. Librarian just offers so much versatility. Duloran, he's probably like Armoram is the best synchro in the deck. Then it goes Duloran, then probably like Gunganir, and then like Mistworm or something. Um, Gunganir, 
Love Gunganir. Great. He's just ridiculous. Black Rose. Scrap Dragon. I'll save that card for later. Mistworm. Because you can make it. I don't know why people aren't running that. For the Exceeds, we run Gachi. Leviathan. Zen Mains. Dweller. Best rank uh, Exceed in the deck, obviously. He's been Big Eye. Um, Abyss Gaios. He's one of my cards that a lot of people don't run, but they're finally starting to run it. Uh, he's basically uh, a Dolka for the deck, literally. And he, a lot of level 5 or higher monsters um, can't attack while he's face up on the field if he, if he has any um, material attached to him. So he's ridiculous. And uh, he's basically a Dolka for their entire field. Monsters less than him. And he's a quick effect. So he's ridiculous. 2,400. I've won so many games against Chaos Dragons, um, Agents, etc., 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 just because I pulled him off. And he's so easy to pull off because like, it's, it's not even... You can't even fathom how easy it is. Like, if you go Diva Diva or Diva Sphere or Megalosphere, like, there's so many ways to get level 7s on board. It's really ridiculous. The last card I'm trying out, um, I'm testing out, and it's actually been doing pretty well. It's actually a beater. If you guys don't know what it is, it's called Crimson Blader. It's a rare from the new set. Um, it's also another hidden gem synchro that I'm surprised a lot of players aren't running. Um, <coughs> it's a warrior, excuse me. Um, and it's generic, so one tuner, one or non tuners. Basically, what it does is when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, keep that in mind to the graveyard, so if they have macro, it won't work. Um, your opponent can't normal summon or special summon level 5 or higher monsters during their next turn. This guy is basically, um, what's a good example? He's basically a fossil dyna. Um, literally, he's basically a fossil dyna, because fossil dyna, most of the time, it's going to stop like any special summoning or normal summoning. They can't exceed, or, well, no, they can't. they can exceed actually over this because it's levels. But um, against Agents, this card's ridiculous. Agents shuts down their Hyperion, their Christie. I, I can't tell you how many times I've just gone him, Killer Venus, or Shine Ball, or something along those lines to prevent an Honest play or something. Then next turn, they have like two Hyperions and Christie in their hand, or BLS, or so many games I've won because of this. Against Chaos Dragons, it stops their Dark Armed, their Pulsars, etc. It's, it's just insane. Um, and they can't normal summon level 5 or higher monsters, so they can't, like, they can't tribute Dark Flare, which is also another plus to this. They can't tribute Hyperion, so this card is just... It's almost in. It's kind of like Gaios. It's one of those like amazing cards, and I love it because it's 2800 attack when uh, when I don't want to burn my Scrap Dragon, if need be. But a lot of the times you'll probably be winning by then anyway. That's the extra deck. I'll flash through my one of my older versions of a side deck. Um, I still think it's a great side deck nonetheless, but I'm not going to explain anything in it. Uh, I'm just going to show it to you guys. Uh, Double Snowman, uh, Triple Maxi, just one Tragodia. Cut one out for the third Maxi. Double Soul Taker. Yeah, I'm sorry. I sold my German secrets. Oh, well. Boo-hoo. Um, double Messenger. Third Space. Two Staubin Tornadoes. And two Spiegelcrafts. <laughs> two Mirror Force and two Dust Tornadoes. That's the deck. I'm sorry it's so long. I don't want to explain the side deck because there's a lot of Theorio behind it and a lot of... Not necessarily Theorio, but a lot of practice behind it and a lot of... like You have to like have tried the deck out to know what I mean. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this deck profile, please give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry it's a really late deck of the month. I've just been really busy, uh, you know, life and stuff, schooling. This week's been pretty hectic, you know, kind of got back to school finally. Um, I have one deck profile that I just did today at Locals of a friend of mine, a uh, local player, pretty good player, Andrew Doe. He has this new really cool Pyra deck with, like, volcanics and stuff. So uh, if you guys want to see that as a crazy deck idea, thumbs up, I'm sure. Uh, I accidentally, stupid me, accidentally clicked pause in during the video when I was filming it, so I, had to, I broke it up into two parts. It's going to be a pain in the ass to upload and then put together so if anyone knows any great editing video editing format i have a desktop unfortunately so i don't have a mac and uh it's a pain in the ass for me to go like on pirate bay and figure all that stuff out with like the key gins and all that stuff but let me know if there's a really easy and free way to get like good video editing software for for my desktop that'd be that'd be awesome i'd really be appreciative and i'd give i'd definitely give you a shout out and some love uh, so yeah, I really want to figure that out. And keep in mind, most of my videos, I film them with um, my iPhone 5s. So uh, it, it, they're pretty big files, and they're QuickTime. So I don't know, like, it has to be something that can edit QuickTime. It has to be, like, it really has to be really practical. You know, it, it, it's, you, you know what I mean. So if any guys have any of that, like, any inside info on that stuff, comment down below, um, or PM me, or better yet... Hit me up on any of the following places down below. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my last video, How to Be a Pro Player, number 20, I uh, posted it, I believe, yesterday or two days ago. Two days ago. Um, it's gotten a lot of great feedback. I think it's great. You guys should check it out. Um, it's on Rogue Decks, which a lot of people have so many questions on. I think you guys would really enjoy this. Um, just like this video, if you guys want to see my next video, 
give me this give this video 75 plus likes to 100 plus likes and uh you guys will see my next video people always ask where all my contact info is right here down in the description just click show more and all this stuff will pop up you guys can check out my fate my personal facebook my fan page uh, my facebook fan page that is my instagram my twitter my skype which i don't really hop on that much anymore um my xbox live which i need to renew my live my email and my dueling network i usually just hop on my first inch 95 account so uh yeah go check that out comment down below what did you think of uh, what do you think guys think of modern mermails or atlanteans or whatever do you think they're still great do you think they're gonna get hit by the next list if so comment down below and what you think is going to get hit if not tell me what you think of them um if you guys want me to do like a way how to beat them how to play against them or with them etc I'd love to do something like that. I'm I'm really trying to do a lot more competitive content um, and stay on top of my things lately. It's just been, it's been hectic, you know. But in any case, I have a couple deck profiles coming up, as well as crazy deck idea, potentially another pro player, um, two card reviews. So uh, yeah, love you guys and uh, peace. Thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it and uh, let me know. Uh, thank you for uh, an awesome month of January. Let's hope we have an awesome year this year. Hopefully, I can get to 5,000 subs by the end of this year. Later, guys.